good morning. And I will sing, if it holy, if it lowly. Infant holy, infant lowly, for his bed a cattle stall. Oxen lowly, little knowing, Christ the babe is Lord of all. Swift are ringing, angels singing, no bells ringing, tidings bringing, Christ the babe is Lord of all. Christ the babe is Lord of all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. To you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous really fault. And therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord have, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give light to your church by the example and teaching of the bishops, St. Basil and Gregory, Grant, we pray that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who is the liar? Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ, whoever denies the Father and the Son, this is the Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father, but whoever confesses the Son has the Father as well. Let what you've heard from the beginning remain in you. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, that you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he made us, eternal life. I write you these things about those who would deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you receive from him remains in you, so that you do not need anyone to teach you. But his anointing teaches it teaches you about everything and is true and not false just as it taught you remain in him and now children remain in him so that when he appears we may have confidence and not be put to shame at his coming the word of the lord thanks be to god All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Say to the Lord in your song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made known his salvation in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. 
Break into song, sing prayers. Now, 
Let's approach the throne of the Father and offer him our needs. For all bishops and priests, may the peace and love of Jesus be theirs in a special way this Christmas season. Let us pray to the Lord. For all non believers, may the Holy Spirit soften their hearts and kindle a fire of love for the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. For those suffering loneliness or personal difficulties, may the Lord hold them close and bring them comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may Christ dwelling within us increase our joy this Christmas. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all the souls in purgatory whom we remember in a special way at this Mass, which is the first Saturday of the month uh, where we do this every month, let us pray to the Lord. Father of mercy and love, we thank you for your goodness. Hear our prayers that we bring before you today. In the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. Amen. And I will pray you to conclude the same Bible prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our pleas, our good shepherd and divine physician. We implore your mercy in the wake of an outbreak of serious illness and disease. Guide our efforts to prevent temptation and make preparation to care for those most vulnerable. Assist all professionals and volunteers who work to eradicate the epidemic now spreading. May our actions be marked by your steadfast love and selfless service and never by panic or fear. Restore your comfort and healing to the sick. Sustain and strengthen them by your grace. May they know your closeness as they carry the cross of illness. And may all you have called from this life, come to worship you eternally with all the saints as you grant consolation and peace to their mourners. Holy Mary, help the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph, hope of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Robert, protector against epidemics. Pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice for your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of Saints Basil and Gregory a means to our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. And by their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, and with a great multitude of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, most high and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, most high and the highest. You are indeed holy, the Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, and by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Holy, we pray that our taking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, to turn us breath about the world and bring the fullness of charity together with Francis and Pope, the ladies our bishop and his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy and all your faithful people. Remember us, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection of all the dying in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may never to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, and Jesus Christ. Through and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And at the Savior's command, for my divine teaching, we dare say, Our Father, Amen. Lord and God. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power and the glory are yours now and forever. The Lord Jesus Christ has said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Then let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and the mercy of us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, it takes away the sins of the world. But let's have those call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not Lord, I am not worthy of your judgment. The only sin of the world in my soul shall be healed. And may the body of God Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. In that spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you above everything else, and I long to receive you into my soul. I cannot now receive you in Holy Communion, but I beg you to come to me at least spiritually. I embrace you as already there, and unite myself entirely to you. Grant that I may never be separated from you. So this weekend we celebrate the, the Feast of the Epiphany of the Magi coming to visit the infant Jesus. And so we have our regular scheduled Masses. We do have, first, well, first of all, we do have some confessions from 2.30 to 3.30 today. Then the 4 o'clock Mass. And then tomorrow, 8 o'clock, 9.30, and 11.30. A reminder to uh, sign up online for those masses. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high, and all who celebrate the feast day of Saints Basil and Gregory, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Go in the peace of Christ. And I will sing verse 2 of this Polish hymn. Flocks were sleeping, shepherds keeping vigil till the morning dew. Saw the glory, heard the story, tidings of a gospel true. Thus rejoicing, free from sorrow, praises voicing, greet the morrow. Christ the babe was born for you. Christ the babe was born for you. Mm -hmm. 